the local recording, which is now restarted, and hopefully I can uh, edit these together. If not, uh, for the local recording that I'm just starting to do again now, sorry, I've been having a lot of audio issues with XSplit only recording through the left ear. No idea why. Hopefully it's not affecting the local recording. But this is another Dota 2 Universe group stage match. Uh, seeing actually the top two teams so far in uh, the European group stage going at it. And and we actually see Mac to Spain now. Hmm. Five, se five seconds. David? Yeah, I'm still here. Okay, I'm okay. Just yeah, the, the microphone was just... Yeah, uh, Magnus Band is kind of weird. I wouldn't really expect it. Mm -hmm. Um... It's a little bit odd, I think, and uh, but I mean, and with I the new with patch, Jarkov, there ain't darks here. Mm -hmm. It can be really, really frustrating to play against. Oh, Tidehunter! Yeah, I'm excited to see Tidehunter. I know somebody in the last game um, was mentioning that we should have seen a Tidehunter instead of a Naga Siren or something along those lines. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I agree. But I wish we could see more Tidehunter. But who is going to carry this from Team Drogba? Is uh, it still on the Viper or OD? either Viper or OD? I think it's probably going to what's probably what it's going to be. I think. Ten to go. Yeah. I would love to see a bench from Spirit to carry. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, it's probably going to be Viper or OD. They're pretty interchangeable, yeah. so. But they kind of need a mid laner, Alex. Well, like, OD or Viper could go mid, and then either one could carry, I suppose. It's not awful. I mean, like, who is Vluck going to be picking up as a mid laner? Maybe. I've seen Visage, I've seen Gyro, but I don't see it happening this nah. game. Me neither. Gyro, the Visage, and Abaddon is a really strong lane. Mm-hmm. I assume that Darkseid is going to the off lane. <laughs> yeah, I, I would have to assume that for sure. That makes sense to me, anyway. Yeah. Ten seconds to I really think that the star is going to play on the tight hunter. I don't know why. I just think that he's playing, you know, the initiate role for the team. I could see that. I could see mm -hmm. that for sure. And that's a nice pickup, Kunkka. I can Ooh. absolutely see him going middle. If Kunkka, Kunkka can really mess things up between the outlaw devourer and him. He can. The only thing I'm worried about is if they try to switch lanes and now it's going to be Viper mid. Because uh, that would, uh, you know, put a big fork in their plans uh, for yeah. sure. All right. I'm going to switch overlays and I'm going to go over the Radiant really quickly. Jeff's going to be up on that Viper. Uh, we're going to see stand in flushing. I believe he was playing a lion in one of the other games that we were watching. Um, we're going to see Outworld Devour picked up by Bree. Of course, he's going to be heading into that mid lane as he uh, as he's done for the past couple games. Lich going to be played by Kazuma87. And last but certainly not least, Sta is going to be uh, picked up, uh, or Sta is going to be picking up the Tide Hunter as we, uh, as we were just talking about. Yeah, and um, heading towards the top lane, we got uh, SNX on the support Abaddon, and we got Blue on the Visage. And we got the carrier Jarcopter playing, and Oni is playing. And the middle lane is uh, handled by NK. And down to the Back off lane, it's Joey. <laughs> and, yeah. Yeah, and uh, the lane's starting to shape up. I think this is the first time. Actually, no, sorry, that was Gustav. That was, uh, that had, uh, that always does that, like, top. Uh, rushes yeah. the top lane. Yeah. So, yeah, it looks like Sta... Unless they try to do a aggressive tri lane here, which would be very interesting. It looks like that actually is what they're setting up for. I really think it can... Um, it can be very effective. Mm -hmm. But still, it can go terribly, terribly wrong. With that... Abaddon is uh, such a strong, both aggressive and, uh, you know, of, uh, defensive tri -laner because of, you know, the heal and the shield. For sure. This uh, mid lane is going to be very um, intense, I, I guess. Oh, yeah, I'm always interested to see how a Kunkka OD lane goes. Mm. Um... Because in theory, they should be able to both get something done. Yeah. 
Uh, so, you know, I'm, I, I hope that's going to be the case anyway, and I hope it's not a, a complete stomp of OD or anything like that. Well, I think that um, OD and Conquer is a pretty even lane. Mm -hmm. um, I think it, it really relies on, you know, skills and, um, you know, uh, calls, if you can say so. When do yep. I go in? When do I, do I get out? Yeah, definitely. The, deci the, uh, yeah. the decision making. Yeah, the decisions are going to be very crucial. Yeah. Because OD is a typical hero that, you know, dominates his lane. Mm -hmm. Because of his imprison. So annoying. Yeah, and bot lane I can see going pretty passively, actually. The For the next little bit here, I don't see a whole lot happening unless we see some uh, sick ion shells. But <laughs> uh, it's probably going to be... Uh, well, it's kind of it's it's kind of good that that Lich in the, is in the easy lane because he's denying so much XP from. Oh no, is he? Yeah, yeah, he is. Um, never mind. He's denying so much XP from from Darkshire, and Darkshire is a very um, XP pending hero. But who's going to carry this? He needs so much Darkshire. level and uh, stuff. Mm -hmm. Wiper or or OD? Yeah. Probably gonna let's get. So, uh, guys, I'm not quite sure. Uh, sound is broken. I don't know why. Uh, I'll let Caps Lock try to take a lot of the commentating. Sorry if it's <laughs> annoying. I I can't fix it. I have no idea what's wrong with it. Um, I'll take a look at it after this match offline, but I have no idea. So, Caps Lock will be taking uh, a lot of <laughs> Well, I have to say that it, you really have to cast the, the team fights. My English isn't that good enough to do so. Okay. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> Only what? Also in Dota TV? Uh, I don't. Hmm. Could it be Sky? No, I don't. Well, Dota, okay, TV, Dota TV is TV perfect. Is perfect. <laughs> Only mm. you. Only on the stream. So yeah, I'm only left. I don't know why. I see that there's an issue with XSplit. A lot of people are complaining about. Um, I. I have no idea what it is though, so I'll need to uh, take a look at that. Uh, actually, yeah. Darks here trying to seek out this lich bottom. Ooh. Um, the... Ah, he has no. to back up. But he can do quite a lot of harassment damage to him. The only thing I'm worried about. It's, um, I won't say passive game, but it's, uh, you know, back and forth. Mm hmm. <laughs> The imprisonment from Outworld Devour is so annoying when you're trying to get last hits and you just get into the box oh, and he denies it. Yeah. And you also don't get any experience or anything. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. it's pretty crucial. Oh, down in the bottom lane, he's very... Oh, he's... Uh, never mind. Yeah, Darkstar is was... playing really aggressive. Yeah, that was uh, questionable. Oh, he's denying so much XP from... From Kunk actually had nah, <laughs> not really, but still. Oh, he just got a regeneration in his bottle, Kunka. So yeah, he just uh, threw out the uh, the chain. And middle lane. actually, Artwell Duvar is taking okay. a lot of damage right now. And he hasn't that bottle, and that's uh, that's huge okay. for uh, for Kunka. And up in top lane, we can see that a rocket will fly and hit Tyler. Mm. And ah, no, nothing is going to happen. They, they can't. I really think that Lich is, um, should just get his level six as she has now, and then um, he should be ganging. Yeah, start moving maybe, around. May, may, maybe, yeah, he's um, heading towards the top lane. Because they are only level 2, 3, and 3 in the, the, the dire top lane. That Lich Ulti can do a crap ton of damage. Yeah, for sure, for sure. 280 <laughs> damage per bounce, and it bounced like 10 times. Whoa. Mm hmm. That's a lot. Yeah, as long as they stay in the range, of course. But yeah, that's, uh, it could be quite massive here. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, Lich is going in, and you take over. 
A nice separation. Yeah. They're still taking him out, but nice separation, not getting the kill on blue. But it, it was a gyrocopter who died there. That's uh, that's great news for for Team Dropper. Mhm. Mm and now uh, Wiper is going. Yeah, that's um, well, I I don't know how much Wiper can do against this Darkshire. He's so on the level compared to to Darkshire. It's a level almost seven against the level almost four. Yeah, and when he hits that level seven, because OD the Iron Shield is going to deal a lot more damage, and it's yeah, it will push the lane so hard, even though he's a range. Hmm. And actually, he's trying to do something right now. I, th yeah, he, he can't. He can just harass him. And Kunka actually is here in the bottom lane with the haste rune and. No, no mind. Yeah, the and he's gonna hit the... yeah, yep. yeah, he's dead. That's um, that's a nice play from from Kunka there. Mm -hmm. They are actually both teams are really great at just rotating all the time. They are tipping around and you know um, make sure that every lane is uh, doing great. Yeah, Kanka knows that that the two supports is in here, but they really want to kill this uh, this Kanka. And uh, yeah, let's just got get <coughs> getting um, some experience in the top lane. Mm -hmm. But look at Dax's CS score. He got forty one. It's almost, yeah. It's a, uh, it's twice as much as the as the radiance highest. <laughs> yeah, but that's um, that's that's very good for for the die team. If he can get that mechanism or whatever he's building uh, very fast, it's going to change um, the team fight completely. Because I think it's two hundred and fifty uh, health. It's restores mechanism, yep. right? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, if you got six hundred and forty four health, like. Uh, like Vengeful's build got it's you know it's one third of the actually shelf. yeah and Visage is going to be able to take out the Tide Hunter yeah with the Soul Assumption and get out of there I don't really think that it should rotate you know one support down to the bottom lane with against mm. the Dark Cell level eight the Iron Shield is shield is completely destroying the support. Even though Tide Hunter is, is a very tanky hero. Oh, sorry. Yeah, and Lich and Viper are both going to go down. Hey, no problem. I'm trying to fix things what I can uh, for audio. But I, Jeez, Volux off to a fantastic start. Not even uh, 10 minutes yet. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't see that. But you are, uh, you know, moving the camera. So I guess that's fine. <laughs> Well, that that was needed in the top lane. Yeah, in bottom lane. And now it looks like they're just going to be able to get a little bit of harass, and that's all. Yeah. I don't really think that Dark says should um, skill another level in search right now. I really think that he should get his um, vacuum level up. Yeah. Uh, because it's, it's yeah. going quite good for the team, so... Yeah, why why should you, you know, max your search rather than your vacuum? Well, usually you just leave it at like one level of search, yeah. I've seen even, just because you want that backups at level 11 to have two levels of ulti, max vacuum. Well, I, I think that uh, the reason that he has gone for two points is, is because that, you know, there have been some action in the bottom lane. Mm -hmm. So he was kind of afraid that, you know, maybe four people would, would rotate it down here. Maybe we sh will see a turret and a boat. Mm. Yeah, there's the turret. Yeah. It's going to hit it up on the Tide Hunter. Tide Hunter still does not even have ultimate yet. There's oh. the boat also. Dr. Yeah. Jeff going down to a Soul Assumption. That's a that solid was actually kill. a nice boat. OD ultimate not quite dealing just enough. The gyrocopters in the meantime in the top lane is trying to get away from the Lich. 
Oh, nice oh. vacuum thrown out. Dr. Bree is going to go down. But the he didn't. Hmm? Yeah. He did get hit by this part, did he? But uh, yeah, as we can see, Winslow's spirit will probably go down here. Yeah, this but is uh, this is yeah. this is massive. And the torrent hit him. And the torrent hits up on the tide oh, hunter. That was, this uh, is massive. We yeah. may see four. That's a four man down. And gyrocopter got away in the top lane. Lich almost had a kill, but he did uh, successfully get away there. This is team play. Yeah. Who can <laughs> knew that that vengeful spirit was dying? And then he just threw out the the turret, and so he could hit the tide hunter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was that was very very smart play right there. Yeah, and I think they, on purpose, they got wow, they let Darkseid get the last hit on the tower because he's only 200 gold away from make it 100, make mm -hmm. it 60 gold <laughs> away from his uh, mechanism. That's yeah, it's yeah. going to be very tough for uh, Team Drogba to get into this uh, this game again. But we have seen them do crazy stuff before. Mm -hmm, for sure. Um, but this mechanism is going to, yeah, it's going to destroy team fights from t Team Drakba, really. Actually, why am I having a meme? Why he has an enemy boot? Ah, oh, no, right? He just got him in the courier. Okay, I just changed something that may be better. They are all smoked up here. Maybe better. That's nice. a massive smoke torrent misses, yeah. and so does the boat. So, hopefully, what I just did solves that problem I'm making sure right now. And actually, Lich is just free from it. Oh, Lich actually got his uh, mechanism in uh, in, in ten golds, gold. But uh, he's going to get ganked now by the Visage and the Gyrocopter. And the Gyrocopter has just charged the rocket. This is huge. No, he yeah, he's going to die. But um, he just bought his mechanism. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he buys it right in time. So, so it's not losing a whole lot. No, uh, and he got a TP. Mm -hmm. on so, if he respawns, he can easily TP to the tower and throw out that ult and heal everybody. Because I'm... Ah, uh, they may be going to push right now, in the top lane. And you know, just um... How is it, you know, uh, making attention to the mid lane so they can't really leave it before it's too late. Yeah, and you can see it up where the rower is actually TPing to top lane. Ain't the Vengeful Spirit is coming. Yeah, they want to contest this, but I really think they should contest this because they really need to. They got Ravage and they got you know Swap and they got OD. I'm oh, sorry, they got the um, the Outworld Devourer ult plus the mechanism and Little. Mm -hmm. So and they're they dropping can, around here too. Yeah, so they can really make something happen. I think. Oh no, this might get caught up. Yeah, there's and the vacuum. Torn's actually gonna hit. There's the ultimate from the gyrocopter as well as the boat. And also the OD ultimate. They should be able to kill this tide hunter. Yeah. Yep. So four for Nell. This is a complete disaster for Yeah. And Dugbra has been undefeated this whole time. Yeah. But thirteen and one, they are two towers up. Take a look at the difference. Five thousand experience, oh. nearly ten thousand gold. I hate to call games early. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this is looking very bad for Team Drogba. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, we can take a look at items. A couple treads picked up on OD, Vengeful Spirit. Uh, but on the die, we have two... Arcane, two phase, and brown boots. And Kunkka has Shadow Blade. He just has to wait for it on the courier. Uh, Torn is not going to hit. Actually, Visage has his treads and armlet up already, too. Yeah. And they're just 
making the gold difference even higher. Mm -hmm. Torrent's gonna be thrown out. Hit two. Yeah. This is just. And is right just now they're just trying to dive to send them back. Abaddon pauses. Skype. It's a thing. Apparently, I must have died or something. In my opinion, if they four man wipe them or five man wipe them right now, mm -hmm. um, with not dying, I think it's GG. Yeah, it's uh. This is the last call for like for it's. Team drop. It's not looking. Uh, it's not looking too good. I mean, in terms oh. of their group stage score. They're five. They already have four points. They both do, so it's not going to be the end of the world. Um, but no, you know. no, not at all. They are almost. We have considered that we are making two leagues in European with, you know, four teams in each group. Each uh -huh. group. So, it won't be that of a problem if you know they lose this game because they are so far ahead from other teams. And Velak has only played one game. Oh, that's uh, true. So, you know. I, I, maybe they will, you know, show up. Oh, here comes a uh, boat. Not going to hit any, but they do get the buff still of the movement speed yeah, as well as not taking damage. Vengeance Sphere goes down. And nice vacuum pulling back in the Viper. Soul Assumption. And there's the Aphotic Shield. Actually, a haste rune on. Okay, mm -hmm. this is not looking good at all. No. Have there's... you... Every time Litz is throwing out that ulti, they just split out like... You know, like ants, uh, it's ants. It's just ridiculous. They are running so fast away from each other, oh. and then they group up after. Mm -hmm. They're playing really, really good. It's, um, well, like... No, absolutely. I'm extremely impressed at how they've just. Again, I know that we haven't seen them yet today, mm -hmm. but uh, just how they're destroying uh, Dogbra. It's uh, it's definitely surprising. Well, you can have shitty games. That's Not that true. Playing bad at all. It's just that it's like they knew what they were going to do. Mm -hmm. They were always, you know, one step ahead. Yeah, extremely, extremely prepared. Yeah. It's um, um I will say that yeah, Drakma's lineup is very um. You got you know the Vinceful stun and you got um. The Wiper Strike and the Poison Attack, and you know, uh, very much single target. So they can easily pick up heroes. We saw that with the Gyrocopter in the top lane. But mm -hmm. they are always grouping. Yeah. Velux is always grouping up, and they can't really do much about it. Mm. Actually, if we could, uh, could get a. They should contest this. No, he's out of mana. They got Chain Trust. Sorry, and Jacobter got his BKB right now. Yeah. yeah. Things just overall, in general, not looking very good at all. No. So they can really make something. But I will still say. Well, well, like. And Torrent's actually gonna hit. I wouldn't say it, it, they they don't look that it, they are a team that you know just uh, lame and throw the game. Mhm. Mm but if they get you know pickups, caught out stupid places. Um, they can come back to this game, but and yeah, oh. Dugbra has been undefeated. It's actually, actually got a blink dagger right now. This is going, yeah, it's going to be terrifying in the team fights with the turret and the vacuum from Darkseer and the boat for that sake. Yeah, it's just so nice, nice combo to see Conker and Darkseer and Jarcopter together. The flag cannon from a gyrocopter can hit almost the whole freaking team if uh, the turret and the vacuum is timed well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it looks like they're just going to try to slow siege down this uh, yeah. tier 2. Kunka has shuttle blade. Kunka is actually one recipe ahead, um, from, his, from his crit, from his chrysalis.
And OD being very, very aggressive there, actually. Yeah, yeah. That was a little bit surprising. And uh, the top will fall. And yeah, there's the BKB thrown out. Looks like they really want to engage on this excellent vacuum. That was, uh, that was a masterpiece right there. Yeah, that's GG. Yeah. Holy sh... Yeah, that was just uh, well played. That was, that was insane. Well, I really think the Vengeful Spirit and the Wiper... I didn't really like it. Mm. Not not the place, but the heroes in general. I don't think that. I really think that Vengeful Spirit is um. It's, um, it's a rare hero, if you can say so. Kinda yeah, yeah. You definitely. Yeah. She's not all that common for sure. No, she's so it's... squishy, and got like one yep, stun. Uh... And that's you know that's it. I, I really don't like it. Mm -hmm. but, but I like when people pick the hero because it's uh, so rare. It's always uh, good to see. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's going to do it for this game. Uh, I'm going to do my best to make sure that the local recording has everything included in it. I'm going to end that one right now. Um, thanks you guys for watching the Dota 2 Universe group stages. Be sure to check out the rest of the videos to see the rest of the games. And uh, I'll see you guys later.